Hello, I'm Sarah Brown from the Lockdown Patchwork Project and today I'm going to show you an easy way to make flying geese. I've had lots of messages from people saying they can't do these. I'm going to show you that you actually can. The key thing to remember when you are measuring your finished flying geese is that these points here are a quarter of an inch from the edge and that point is exactly at the top. Now if we turn this over and look at the back you can see that the seam line, which I've done in navy blue thread so you can actually see it, goes just across the centre of those crossed seams and that gives you your perfect point. So for the flying geese we have a square of each colour which is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then for each of these coloured blocks, we need four of these. And these are the background, the skylines, and they're each two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And then you need to draw a diagonal line across the wrong side of each one. So for this green block, which I'm going to do to start off with, I've got four sky coloured, each with a line drawn across it. So next, I'm going to place this square there and then I'm going to place that one there. Now what's important is that that line goes right the way across and they match up and they overlap. They're supposed to overlap. You will see that I have now stitched a scant quarter inch seam from the centre line, both sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along that diagonal line. Now when you're using a rotary cutter, always cut away from you, never towards you. You'll see that I've now pressed the sky units away from the goosey bit. Um, but I've made sure that the seam allowance goes this way so that the goose remains the same shape as it was when it started. I'm now going to take the next two pieces and place one like that so that the line goes from that corner straight through the middle of that gap and then the other one is going to go on the other one and then I'm going to stitch a scant quarter of an inch seam from that pencil line both sides. So now we have a quarter inch seam stitched either side of that central line. If you look, the seams go exactly on that point there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut along those lines. Again, away from me, always away from me. And again, and we will then have four identical flying geese. And I'll show you what they look like when I've pressed them. So now we have four identical flying geese, and you'll see that that distance from that point there to the edge is a quarter of an inch, but these points go into the corner. That's what they're supposed to do. So now you, we have a collection of flying geese and the first thing you have to do after having pressed them is to make sure that they are all the same size and you also need to check that, that point there is a quarter of an inch from the edge. Leave these little ears where they are for now because they'll help you in the construction process. Now to put these geese together you take two, whichever order you want to put them in, and you place them a long edge of one goose along to the point of the other. So that's what one side looks like and on the other side it looks like that. Now make sure that that corner is there and that corner is there and then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam along there making sure you stitch just through that point there. 
now you can see I've stitched la the line I've done it in navy blue thread so that you can actually see where I'm stitching and that goes straight through that where those two seam lines cross and then if we turn it over there you have your perfect point and you repeat the same process putting the colors in the correct order if you have found this video useful please like and subscribe to the lockdown patchwork project youtube channel and also check out my other videos bye if you would like to see more written instructions on how to make flying geese please check out notes hints and tips in the lockdown patchwork project facebook group